Uh, insert my initial <laughs> reactions to this. Uh, well, oh <laughs> my god, it's a game. Oh look, the graphics are bad. Oh, oh my god, compressed what is JPEG on the menu. Okay, welcome to Medal of Honor: Rising Sun. As you uh, probably could tell, it's this is not our first recording of this. <laughs> no, so sad. So we're doing it again. Yeah, we're, to, going, we're going all the way back to December 7th, 1941. A day that will live in infamy. Yeah. And we're going to start the mission. Yeah. Uh, oh, wait, oh, there. Yeah, let's okay, say really it's going really really. change vertical. Friendly fire, on. Same health, no. No. Share ammo, no. No. What is this? Hey, at least it gives you options, I guess. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, tsh, God, I just have to go through the whole spiel. Of, you know, what's this game? Why are we playing this? Why are the graphics bad? Where's Sword Art Online? <laughs> when is Tokyo Mirage Sessions coming back? We've got to answer all those questions again. Uh, in short, like we said, this is a... Uh, hey, hold on. This, the, the title will explain it for you. Man, look at that. Look at that 2003 Ooh, CD. Oh, and you got the bullet holes. Yeah. Uh, and that blurry <laughs> little subtext underneath. God, it literally it's... just reminds me of whenever I play like a movie game on my Game Boy Advance. Yeah. Oh, it's just so compressed. It's Specifically Spider-Man. <laughs> Spooderman for the Game Boy Advance. Exclusively Electronic Arts 2002. Here it is. December 7th. I couldn't read that. I guess it was a Sunday. <laughs> Man, look how real those faces are. All those faces, uh, I remember them. Yeah. Johnny, Dick, other names that were popular in 1941. Generic-ass oh. looking Navy oh my God. sailor. Oh my God. What could it be? Oh, don't call me maggot. I don't appreciate that. Uh, anyway, this game... Uh, the, the almost the entire reason we're playing this is this holds a lot of okay so I'm on the left or on the right okay yeah uh, this game holds a lot of nostalgic value for me personally uh, mainly because it was the oh god a seizure inducing room oh god I can't uh, see <laughs> it's fine it's fine let's go to the bathroom together so you get locked out this fuck me <laughs> look how the shoes on the other <laughs> foot ah the turns of table. It's fine. I'll just I'll wait for you so you can so I'll respond on the other side. Okay. Someone's shaving Ooh. kit. That's a cool attention to detail. Anyway, while I'm waiting for you to open this goddamn door for me. Damn, oh, dude. Well, got blinded. I need you to, need you to turn around and open this door. Oh, really? oh okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I can't I not think see this. Oh, there you go. Now oh. that I'm looking at. Oh yeah, we gotta we gotta go through all, all, all the funny looking animations. Look at him run. He's a special boy. Oh Jesus! Uh, but I think this game runs on the same graphics engine oh, wait. that uh, Beast Crouch. Beast Crouch. That uh, Fallout. Like the, the graphics are very reminiscent of Fallout 2's graphics. Mm -hmm. I'd like to think that they just ran on the same engine, but I could be wrong. Oh, oh okay, up here. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, yeah. Uh, like, this first, first person, first, god, I made this, this is my second time making this mistake, in two playthrough, in two, uh, two recording sessions. Uh, this is my first, first person shooter. Uh, got it back in 2003, it was nine, and, uh, I always enjoy playing the multiplayer, because it was also one of the first games that my dad and I played together. Mm. Uh, because, I mean... Before then, he had always been a first-person shooter because he grew up at the same time as, you know, Doom, uh, Castle Wolfenstein. Uh, meanwhile, when I was getting grip more, of course, with, you know, Pokemon, Legend of Zelda. So I wasn't really too privy to first-person shooters. Uh, so we got this. My dad wanted to show me how good first-person shooters could be, so I went and played this together in the huh. grand old year 2003. And so, how's that? <laughs> I mean, it was fun because I didn't know any better. Like, like, uh, like I was telling you earlier, back then, like these were just photorealistic graphics. Yeah, yeah. I remember uh, it was one of those moments that you know you always have when you play video games, where you look at it and you're like, "Wow, graphics will literally never get any better than this." Yeah, and then they do. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm like, "Wow, that guy looks like a fish." 
All right, so we're going up the stairs, right? And oh, oh I guess you can take the ones down there. Yeah. Oh, you originally went up there. Yeah. Uh, All right. Uh, looks like so I want to use this one. Can I use this one? Please no, let me use this you one. can't use. Sorry, you can't use the artillery. You got to use the the fifty cal. Uh, this is going a lot quicker. Now yeah, yeah. The second playthrough. Oh, oh, which of course makes sense. Oh man, but I just—it's such a shame. Like there, there was humor, there was wit, there was sadness, and, and now such we're gladness. now it's just like it's a dude. It's just like us doing the day to day. Yeah, and now it just feels so artificial. Miss. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it's my bad. For some reason, like my laptop it couldn't like read its own charger. I don't know what happened there. But it looks like it's doing better now. So yeah. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna take him out with uh, my rifle here. Yeah. Wonder if I could. Probably not, but it's worth a shot. Hey, could have sworn. What was reload? I know that's. I, uh, it was oh, A, right? right? Oh, oh, yeah, A was reload. A for action. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A got... for A reload. <laughs> a for. <laughs> reload with the A letter. <laughs> wow. Nicely done. Nicely done. <laughs> wow. It a, that's a stretch. It was an artfully constructed joke. Barrel aged for twelve years in American Virgin Oak. So I'm gonna just repeat the same tactic as last <laughs> last time I tried doing this. Just, just, just shoot in any direction. This is a magic gun where the barrel never overheats and you just never run out of ammo. See, games were World games. War Two shooters were so much simpler back in 2003. They were the best, or any first person shooter. Yeah. Oh yeah, my controller like, stopped vibrating too. Yeah, I think it has something to do with. No, it's the gun, and sometimes it can be the airplanes, in which it picks up that, and once they're gone, you don't feel it anymore. Yeah, right? It's so weird. And now I'm vibrating again. Oh, sorry. Don't take that out of context. <laughs> Such a shame. I mean... <laughs> okay, they're making their okay, another so roundabout. This, this is a bar. I guess I could have just read uh, the, the weapon description. Yeah. Definitely a weird, like, mission because of the fact that, like, these guys come, like, in cycles every like five minutes although they, is it just me or are they faster than we first played this i don't know usually a lot of things not actually you know you're right. i was i was thinking of like how things tend to process faster in your head as memory than they are like when you first actually perceived it oh huh, i guess that's true i find that like with songs a lot that i haven't heard a lot heard in a while they usually have like a slower beat to them yeah, I, I, I just know the song so well. Now that I'm listening to someone else sing it, it seems so slow. I can sing it ten times faster George. than you, Adele, Drake. Like, if amateurs. we were to recite you used to call me, <laughs> we'd probably be singing much faster. You used to, you used to. You used to, you used to. You've been worried about listening going out more. You used to call me on my, on my, I'm playing. You know, so it caught cell phone. That's not good, right? <laughs> Some right. Of yeah, this is still taking about as long as it was in the first playthrough. No, uh, but at least we have to, we got more stuff to talk about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's not just dead air for mm -hmm. five minutes while we just kind of wait for this to end. Uh huh. Uh. God, look at the graphics on these clouds. <laughs> I, yeah, these geometric ass clouds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. Oh, you also you all missed my my, my spiel at the beginning of uh, our initial recording of this, where you kind of went to the not the history of World War Two because who needs history? Or it's I eat history of books for breakfast. Uh, more about like what first what uh, first person shooters were back in the early two thousands. Just kind of like how they evolved because uh, it's this weird progression, you know, where they all started out with. Uh, stuff like Doom and Quake, which are more futuristic first-person shooters. The Wolfenstein came out, mm -hmm. uh, and subsequently uh, the original Team Fortress, which is a World War II shooter. Uh, and then this just kind of came into vogue, uh, you know, because World War II is familiar. We all more or less have like a shared understanding of what World War II was. You know, there are lots of cool guns that you don't see anymore, so it, it's just cool to have that frame of reference, I guess. Mm-hmm. Uh, that you don't have to worry about writing a story because the story is already written for you, right. basically. Now that I think about that, uh, and now it's just kind of looped back from World War II, back in the early 2000s, which if you played video games in the early 2000s, uh, you were overexposed to 
like World of War Two first versus shooters. Uh, and then you know Call of Duty, uh, Call of Duty Four came out. And it came to the modern shooter. Uh, then it felt like it had to progress back to the futuristic shooter. So we're like back at Doom, uh, and now we're back at World War Two again hey. with uh, Call of Duty World War Two coming out in November. Activision, please, please sponsor us. <laughs> I don't care if you're like a shitty game producer and your your business model is, is cancerous and your design philosophy is cancerous. Please sponsor us. But we need money. <laughs> sponsor us. Please. Talk about kind of backtracking. I guess like <laughs> as far as new games coming out, I guess they really want to try to go back to like basics. Back to the roots. Or at least maybe adapt like what we now know as like game design into like previous games. Oh Jesus! Yep, they're dead. Wait, did we die? No, that's not. Oh us. no, okay, I was supposed to say that. Damn, dude. This no, we're just uh, we're swimming around. We're watching our comrades die. Oh, gotcha. First person. Yeah. And this is just like this is shared by one person. We just had yeah. to have like two different it, entire bodies that we can impose ourselves on. But if you looked at us. Or, like, if we managed to look at each other. Now oh. we're, like, basically in the same gun, but we control them independently. Strange, but all right. Yeah, you know, that's how it works. I guess... Okay, you can't... So we're, we're, sh those. we're shooting. Yeah. There's what gonna else be, is new? There's gonna be z zeros. Like, paper paper zeros. And also, I don't know if there's gonna be any Japanese PT votes that we have to shoot. I think it's just zeros. Oh, yeah, we got a full axis or a full uh, rotation I probably shouldn't shoot. <laughs> don't shoot the ships! No, Just those are the, ours. Those are American. Although, they're, like, low-texture, indestructible assets, so don't worry about it. Gotcha. So shoot them. <laughs> yeah. Just, oh, Jesus. It's also the same tactic you were using, uh, you know, in, in the previous level. Just shoot and don't let go of the trigger. Gotcha. Oh, now these That's fighters the, are made of something other than paper. Got this on-rail shooting. Yeah. Which... When, when they're done right, I actually really enjoy rail shooters. Yeah. Uh, they just remind sure. me of being at the arcade. Uh, I, I gotta get around because it's on uh, it's on uh, the virtual console. I want. I really want to play Innocent Sin. Oh yeah. Um, I, I think I heard about one. That was a relatively unannounced, right? New. Well, oh, they made a sequel a couple years ago that was new, but the original uh, Innocent Sin was for N64. Okay. Uh, and you know, the virtual Brothers rail shooters. I, I really want to check it out. Uh, I also want to. I one of the games I played over and over again, like my early teens, was when they came out with Time Crisis. Uh, for oh the Xbox. yeah, something like uh, I remember that. Which is you know again one of those rail shooters that whenever I would go to arcade because our our old movie theater, I guess you should say, is old timey. It actually has a video arcade oh, in it. Yeah. Uh, so I'd go. Um, it's been try and there. spend like half an hour playing Time Crisis before a movie would start. Oh, all right. And I was never very good at it, but it was just fun. Yeah. Uh, this. Oh, you know what? Nice. Think of it. Maybe the the best way to elevate Dang It Play is if we do like live action like arcade playing. <laughs> oh, dang. Bring all of our equipment to uh, to, the to the movie theater. Totally ignore all movies and just play arcade. <laughs> I think it'd be okay with it because we'd still be giving them a ton of money. <laughs> so, I mean, I think like it's still it's like a dollar play for Time Crisis. I mean, yeah, I mean, hell, like there's there's someone who actually like um, makes videos of him just like playing um, different like arcades. Yeah. There's there's an appeal to that, just like how there's unboxing. Yeah. It's just <laughs> we have to go and continuously pay for plays at arcades. Okay. Oh yeah, I think we're still on the first like, episode. F like frequents at a strip club throwing wads of crusty used up singles at arcade machines mm. only to be rejected just like in real life I just hope that they'd be okay with like a camera like flying well I mean like we'd just be like walking directly to the arcade so I don't know there, I was gonna say there's a long standing stigma of uh, cameras in movie theaters yeah you're right as long as we're not like I guess passing them like past like the ticket holders, then I guess we're okay. Yeah, we'll see. We'll Just... see. That might be a new thing that we're doing with the very limited. Um, well, actually, I guess we should go to an actual arcade place. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, where's I mean? Oh, there's a. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. 
We can win stuff too. Yeah, right. We can go, we just go to Dave and Buster's. Win myself a PS4. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm not sure if they would still have time prices in Dave and Buster's. I don't think so. They have, they have Mario Kart. Yeah. Featuring Pac Man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just okay. I guess if Smash Bros can feature Pac Man. We won't win any Mario tickets Kart. for that, but still. It's just fun. We, but why would we do that when we got Mario Kart 8 Deluxe for the Nintendo Switch on sale now? Please sponsor us, Nintendo. <laughs> I hate your business model and your cancerous, but we need money. Please sponsor us. <laughs> okay. Man, it's been like... Oh my god, there are so many planes! As far as the game, it was kind of dead silent as far as things to do until these planes showed up. I know, right? Oh god. Now, there, now there's just too many planes. It's like I'm playing a Toho game. <laughs> I got that one from far distance. I totally do not. It's coming. Okay, I got it. Yes. God, oh, they're is, everywhere now. This is so much longer than the single player mission. Really? Wow. Yeah. Like, the single player mission was over, like, 15 minutes. All of it. Oh, yeah. And are this is just, like, dragging on. Jesus, why are there so many? The single player and multiplayer are rel rel relatively the same, like, campaign, right? Uh, the, the story should be the same. I think, like, the levels are adapted to fit multiplayer and single player. Okay. Yeah, yeah we did it. We, we fed them off. Yeah, yeah, but at what cost, though? But at what cost? Johnny! Dick. Johnny! Oh, the World of War One Or but World War Two name. God, your mouth is disgusting. <laughs> what that mouth do? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect for the suck. Perfect for anything but. Use those teeth as a strainer. Like a sip of vanilla milkshake. Ugh. Nice. Now it's a portrait. Alright. We shot down 47 enemy planes, but we got hit 26 times. That's alright. <laughs> 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 okay. uh, uh, anyway. Yeah, let's let's end this episode. Yeah, we're actually past the uh, 15 minute mark, but that's okay. We I kind of wanted to make up for like the last time, so yeah. yeah. We're gonna end the episode here. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Dang, it plays uh, Metal Honor uh, Rising Sun. Almost forgot the name. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Hashtag bye. Hashtag Santa. Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs>